My name is John Vickers, and I'm the first director of the Indiana University Cinema. I was approached in October 2007 to at least put my name in the hat as far as uh, applying for the position of director of the cinema. The equipment that was spec'd uh, truly uh, made it stand uh, far ahead of, of any other university cinema that I'd ever seen. So there, there was that aspect as well as the, the beautiful 1930s auditorium that, that was going to house the cinema. So, so I think that, that was probably the driving force. But then I think on top of that, um, it was very evident that the university was um, very committed to the project. So the president uh, is very committed to this. It's a pet project of his, if you will. And then reporting to, directly to the provost made it seem as though the highest levels of the university were, were really involved in this project. Uh, as far as students go, I, I believe that um, the IU Cinema offers a few different things. Uh, number one, it offers a chance to revisit uh, you know, some great works of art. And there's no question that cinema was the dominant art form for the 20th century. And, and so this gives uh, students a chance to see things that may have been before their time or they may have missed or, or whatever it might be. Uh, but then it also it gives an opportunity to uh, academic departments across campus that teach film in their coursework to partner with the, the cinema and have ways to elevate uh, their students' experiences. The, the IU Cinema has, as mentioned, maybe one of the best equipped booths in the country. The equipment along with our booth practices give us access to the very rare and, and good prints around the world. We have really the best uh, digital and film projection capabilities there are, so we have the capability of uh, playing any digital format that a filmmaker will bring to us. The, uh, the four panels that are in the IU Cinema are uh, Thomas Hart Benton from the 1930s, and the murals are depicting the history of the state of Indiana. Uh, when the building was being uh, refurbished uh, starting in 2009, these murals also then were completely restored. So. The, the murals got a facelift when the building did as well. We've had a number of filmmakers introduce films and then provide lectures, and some of them include uh, director Peter Bogdanovich, who received an honorary degree from Indiana University, and uh, Albert Mazels, the documentary filmmaker who did Gimme Shelter, Grey Gardens, and Salesmen. Uh, we have Paul Schrader coming, who is uh, the screenwriter for Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Last Temptation of Christ, and many, many other films, as well as a fine director himself. We want to continue to, to bring the best filmmakers here that we can, um, and, oh, I don't know, it, it's, it's really endless. I mean, we'll continue to, to think of uh, great ideas to expand uh, the film experiences here in Bloomington.